Uh, yes. Hey guys, Scott Short here with Empire Home Loan Corporation. My NLS number is 225-998. My California DRE license number is 0107-4493. We are here today at Cafe Bernardo and Thomas with my good friend. Megan Harris with Golden State Finance Authority. Boom, so there we go. So Megan likes this place here, so it's nice. I'm checking it out. We do it the opposite way, but the window behind us, the screen looks like a... <laughs> so we're going to do it the backwards. So hope we, hope, hope we have no, uh, what do you call those little, what do people call they call the... Uh, Ford bombers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so today we're talking about a new program. It doesn't come out till next Monday, July seventeenth. I think that's a Wednesday. The Wednesday, okay. Oh no, no, you're right. It is a Monday. I don't know. So no, July no, seventeenth. You're right. Okay, July seventeenth. Cool, cool. So July seventeenth is going to come out. So we're going to talk about today. So you guys are ready for it? So it's going to be government only, right? Yes. Government FHA, only program. VA, and USDA. Cool. So this is kind of other programs, but you kind of made it more uh, wider open, I guess. How's that work? Yeah, so uh, Golden Opportunities is the name of the program. We're calling it Go for Short. <laughs> and it mirrors our Platinum Select program, except without all the special requirements. So if you're familiar with our Platinum Select program, where we allow people that have certain occupations and loan types to get an amortizing second plus a gift as their assistance. Uh, with Golden Opportunities, you don't have to have any of those special loan types or well you do have to have they don't have to be special right. but they do have to fit within the loan parameters right. we're currently offering right now but they don't need a special occupation so a lot of times that program is sought out because you have a teacher you have a police officer or someone who works in medical who could be eligible now that option is not needed right. if you just have a regular borrower with an ordinary occupation mm -hmm. who wants to take advantage of that enhanced assistance. Well, you should, if you're still a doctor or those people, you still qualify. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It doesn't disqualify them. It just opens it up to more people. And I just want to be clear that this is for the GO program, yep. the Golden yep. Opportunities program. Platinum Select is still intact. Mm -hmm. Same with the rest of our Platinum products. We just happen to have this Golden Opportunities product available in addition to that. And they are two separate programs completely. Boom, there we go. And this so we're doing government only, so FHA, VA, USDA. That's the only thing. Correct. Thinking. Okay. And then we're still 30 year fixed. Yes, 30 right. year fixed. And then the loan amount, max, 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 for anywhere in California is going to be the 726200 But what's the, what's the but? You can add your upfront MIP or VA funding fee to that. Um, your total loan amount can't exceed, or your, your base loan amount can't exceed the maximum. Also, the caveat there is the loan limit for the loan type. So, for example, if USDA or FHA has a lower limit than yep. ours in a certain county, then you'd yep. have to defer to that more conservative limit. And if they have a higher limit, conversely, then you would defer to ours yep. since it would be the most conservative. So right now we're following the national conforming loan limit on that. And again, you can add your upfront MIP or VA funding fee to that. Boom. And this is only California only. We usually talk about outside California, but this is a California only program, so don't get confused. <laughs> That's right. It's for Californians only. It's also for purchase transactions only. Yep, yep, yep. And then let's listen to this. So let's say, so let's break it down. So how does assistance work? So the assistance is structured uh, from 3.5% to 5%, okay. okay? And how it'll work is 3.5% of the assistance, which will be calculated based on the total loan amount, mm -hmm. is going to be an amortizing second mortgage. So an amortizing second mortgage, it has a monthly payment, small and affordable, over the course of 15 years. And then in addition to that 3.5% second, the borrower can get a gift of up to 1.5% of their total loan amount added to that. Ooh. And that's going to be, they don't pay that back. It's immediately forgiven after close of escrow. So the only portion they repay is that 15-year amortizing second, which is equal to 3.5%. And, and the cool part is that you're, you know the interest rate is going to be, right? How's the interest rate, interest rate work? So the interest rate actually goes up as the assistance goes up. But I will say that our rates tend to be pretty competitive and even below market in some cases, especially if you're not getting any assistance at all under the program. It's not uncommon for people to use our programs just for the rate. Yep. But the interest rate on the second mortgage will be the same as the interest rate on the first mortgage. So there's no guesswork there yep. and it makes it all pretty streamlined and predictable. Boom, I'm reading my notes, that's what I'm looking down. <laughs> <laughs> so so one thing we had a call from a lady that has a has just one of your programs. We're not talking about our program, but just your program. That has a first and second, correct? She wanted to pay off the second the first loan, what happened? That's not an option under the Golden Opportunities Program. So 
Um, with golden opportunities, the second is it going to resubordinate? Um, and yeah, I mean, you could pay off the second, right. but you can't. Wait, you're talking about the one with the HELOC, right? Yeah, she wants. She wanted to do. Uh, she wanted to refinance the second and put a HELOC in place that second. That's not going to work because we can't resubordinate, correct? Right. Okay. So typically, in any event where the first mortgage is paid off, you would also have to pay off the second. Right. Right. Um, in this example, with golden opportunities being so new, I would have to look into well, go ahead, go ahead. whether or not we would be able to independently do that. Go. But the second is amortizing, so there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to pay that off independent of yep. the first mortgage. It's just you can't pay off the first mortgage and leave the second right. intact. Or, or, or like we're saying, you can't refinance the second and put a new second in there, right? Right. So, okay. Yeah, it would just be, and again, I, I'd have to check right, on right. that okay. just because okay. everything's okay. still new. So we'll, we'll give, get Megan's number later. You <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all but, good. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. And that's the key things we want to make sure we have. So on the... The, like we're talking about this, so on the gift piece, you have 3.5% max and 1.5% max on the gift, right? So that's going to be probably your highest interest rate that's offered because you're getting the most assistance, right? You're saying as you go lower, but, so the lower is going to be on the gift side or the, or the, or the, or the, um, when you look at your rate sheet, it's going to be, is it, is it, as you go back up the ladder to get a lower rate, is that going to reduce your 3.5% or does that reduce your 1.5%? No, so the 3.5% is fixed. Okay, good, okay. So that doesn't no matter what. change. Okay, good, good, yeah, good. the only thing that changes is the gift portion gotcha, of gotcha. assistance. Okay, okay. So as the gift increases, the interest rate on the first mortgage okay, okay. and uh, second, obviously, since they are connected, also increases. Cool, and you, this one has some parameters other programs don't have. Is that a uh, single unit only. It's going to be either a single family home, condo, or a townhouse. And then the condo's gonna make sure it's condo's approved because FHA has their approved list or not approved mm -hmm. list, which means they're not approved. <laughs> <laughs> so we can make sure, it's, so check out, so it's like an FHA deal, so you always um, refer back to FHA or BA or USDA's guidelines for these programs because you guys are mostly just the lender of the second loan, not the first loan, right? In reference to guideline wise. Right, guidelines wise, I mean, we still have our, our base guidelines, yep, right? Yep. That we've already approved with, you know, FHA, VA, USDA. So we're already in line with those. Um, so you still have to make sure your credit score and all of yep, that matters yep. um, and, 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 uh, and qualifies. But in terms of the property type, we can do single family, one unit properties. Yep. So that's another difference from platinum where we right. can go up to four units. Yep. We can also do condos. HUDs and manufactured homes yep. on golden opportunities yep, yep, yep. as well. Cool. And then, um, I was looking at my notes too, sorry, sorry. So, but that's key. So, make sure you recognize as, as a single family house, can't be a duplex, triplex, or fourplex on this, the gold program. So, make sure you don't get confused because <laughs> that's why these programs are very specific and that's why they have them because there's certain things you're looking for. So, when you make programs up like this, is it, are you looking for meeting a certain, I mean, is there a certain thing you're looking for when you make programs up? Is there, you know, I think with this program, what we're trying to do is reach more people right, right, who, right. you know, aren't purchasing a multi-unit property, yep. they aren't purchasing a mansion, they're just <laughs> tired of paying someone else's mortgage yep. as a renter. Right, right. So that's why our credit parameters are a little bit more relaxed okay. under right. the GO program, and the property types are a little bit more simplified. Cool. So let's hear, here's, here's the funny, there's two words that we ever know about. So let's talk about credit score. Mm -hmm. what, what is the lowest credit score you guys will accept for your program, but Freddie Mac may not be so happy. So what's your lowest? Well, so we've got 620 is the minimum credit score for FHA and VA borrowers under GO. And then we've got 640 is the minimum credit score for USDA borrowers. I recognize Freddie Mac's not doing this program because only, that's why I was trying to trick her, but she, she She's, she learned my trick. She caught my trick, just cut me off and said, you're out of here, bro. I know you, Scott. She knows me, so I try to trick her up, but it don't work, man. She's tough. She's a trainer. She trains. She does this. How many times do you train a week? Oh, gosh. Well, right now we're offering trainings on uh, Go for twice a week cool. for the entire month of July. Depending on how much volume we get, um, you know, supply and demand, yep. we may scale it back to once a week starting in august but right now you have the opportunity to take advantage of uh two times a week having those time slots open and just for our our, our our lender people the brokers or the guys who work for the bank who who, want to, who process the programs not for our homeowners to call you up and say let me get on this thing right right That'd it's definitely not for homeowners no. it's definitely geared towards a lender a realtor audience Realtors need to know how these programs work too and what to expect from their lending partners. So they're also invited yep. to these uh, trainings that we offer on a weekly basis. Well,
on her, her training. There's gonna be a lot of initial DTI, CLTV, blah blah blah. You may go, what the heck she saying, man? <laughs> you, know, you need a, a ro rolling dictionary, but it's all good. That's why. I, let your lender explain it to you. If they don't explain it to you, then you need to hike them somewhere else, go on the list, and find somebody else, right? Yeah. <laughs> so cool. So the other thing we look at is the DTI debt to income. How's that mm -hmm. looking? Yeah, so the debt to income ratio is going to be maxed out at 55% under the program, and that's across all loan types, whether it's FHA, VA, or USDA, the max debt to income ratio is 55%. Well, and that's for the program, but if, the, if you're if that product when you try to get it approved in your system for loan officers, if it says less than that, then it's less than that. But this is what they'll say, you can max out here as long as you get the approval by the by the Yeah, that's system. the thing people need to keep in mind is our program has these really relaxed parameters, but a lot of times when people only meet the minimum requirements, the auto the automated underwriting yep. system will shut it down. Yep. So it really depends on the borrower's overall profile and how the AUS system is looking yep. at the yep. risk. Yep. And there you go. See that's, see, that's stuff we, she talks to you on the on the on her uh, webinars. You'd be going, what is AUS? You know? <laughs> AUS is basically a system that's going to approve the loan. It's depending on which, which system you're going with, either FHAB or USDA. They have different systems. So let's go down. Here's the next thing's going to be, there's a thing. AUS is going to automate. Going to the computer to get an approval, right? So there's another thing called a manual underwriting. Can you break that down and let you do all that? Yeah, so manually underwrite, uh, underwritten loans are going to be allowed under the program. Uh, only on VA and USDA loans. And that's when the max DTI is gonna change to 41%. So that's when you have something in your profile that's like outside of the scope or something that needs to be looked at by a person yep. instead of just automatically being approved by the automated underwriting system, A. U.S. A.K.A. Now, robot. <laughs> right. Robot. I don't know you. Just kidding. So, home buyer education. There's something on here about home buyer education. How's how's that? Because usually you don't need that, but is it needed for this program? Or yeah. So with home buyer education, we still don't require that. There's a lot of down payment assistance programs that just to use the program, you have to use home buyer education. We defer to the loan agency. So yep. FHA, VA, USDA, they're going to be the ones that determine whether or not home buyer education yep. is required for you. And if it is, then you would just follow their guidelines on the requirements for that. Cool. And usually on your government programs, you don't have income limits for you guys. Correct. So with FHA and VA, that's still going to be the case here on the GO program. There's no income limit for FHA or VA borrowers. But for USDA, which is a very income sensitive product, you will need to follow their guidelines on income limits. Cool. That's what I'm still at my notes, so sorry. <laughs> the program's new, man. It's just fresh. It's like yes. this paper. I think it's still wet on this, this piece of paper. It's still wet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's see. So, for people who are loan officers, mm -hmm. how can they find about you and your and the classes and all that kind of stuff? Where they yeah. Go? So, loan officers, visit our website gsfahome.org and go to business resources and then uh, lender realtor training. It's going to bring up the calendar. Mm -hmm. For the whole month and you'll have an opportunity to pick a date and time that works for you these trainings are free yep. they're only an hour long and you get an opportunity to ask any questions you might have as well um, the process for getting signed up for the program is super simple the money source is the servicer um, what's, a, what's a servicer the servicer is the entity that purchases the loans in this case from our program once they're funded and then they receive the payments yep. take care of the property taxes etc for the borrower after the loan funds and so you'll have to get signed up with the money source as a correspondent lender first yep. and then uh, we have a couple of forms for you to fill out for GSFA but the process is super fast the TMS is the money source they're approving lenders within 48 hours so super fast if your ducks are in a row they're prepared to approve you and it doesn't have to be a long drawn-out process so let's so here's a, here's a question this is gonna be a lender question so rev this one here so for lenders so we got we have retail loan search versus brokers right mm -hmm. so retail lenders will be contacting the money source now as a broker do we contact the money source we got to contact somebody who's a wholesale company that we work we work with and they work with, with the money source do you know how that works so I'm, I'm glad you asked that Scott unfortunately we don't have any options for brokers right now no. this is only going to be available to correspondent Good. lenders right, right. not uh, wholesale okay, right. slash broker business so what that means your, your bank people your mortgage bank people or uh, 
credit unions? Like that, right? Credit unions, what do you guys know? No, credit unions tend to want to deal with their own okay. money. <laughs> okay, thanks for that one. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. I got you, I got yeah. you. Cool, cool. So, um, let's see this. So, the max, so on this program, always the question is going to be on fees and stuff. So, the maximum somebody can charge a person for their services. Is it, is it going to be the like the two percent is going to match, right? So the way? origination yep. fee that a loan officer can charge mm -hmm. maxes out at two percent on the program. They can still charge their ordinary fees, like their closing fees, the funding fees, mm -hmm. underwriting, processing fee, all of those fees that are typical with these transactions, with, with any kind of home loan you get are still allowed, but they do have to be within tolerance yep. of the loan type that's being used. Boom, there you go. So that's always a key thing, because some companies allow you, you know, range from one half to three. They're cutting you at two. So, you know, it's gonna be a lot cheaper in this conversation here, because you're capping off the loan persons, you know, what they, what their company is getting paid for on doing the program. So that's, that's a good thing for you as a consumer. Yeah, we don't want the assistance to be eaten up by <laughs> all the lender fees. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but at the same time, lenders, you know, they're not doing for free so they right. still have to get paid so everybody is just kind of a happy medium to make sure everybody's you know getting their yep. needs met here's the last question yeah you ready for the last question right? ready so some programs you deal with we, don't, we love our friends other programs so don't yell at me later <laughs> that they require a second a second review mm. so for you guys how's it work you know if i do a loan and not me because that's me court let's say a retail lender does a loan through the company they need to loan to you for a second approval, or how does that work? Yeah, so I'm glad you asked that. So it's not uncommon for loans to require approval from the program in addition to the underwriting that happen happens at the lender's office. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. So the lender is in control of the underwriting the entire process, mm -hmm. right? So there's no additional time that's added to getting your loan So I can get, that, I can get my contingency slower yes, and lower? I like yes. this because that's... That's the fight right now. You make those contingencies tight, tight, tight. Because I always question, like, you know, even though legally you might close in, like, you know, 14, 15 days, just because the, you know, there's different timelines you got to play with. Mm -hmm. My question is, no one can move in 15 days. Right. Um, I, I know it's security <laughs> and help and stuff. God yeah. bless you, but that drive me back. But, no, I hear you. but, you know, it's all cool. But at least we can do it with these guys here. They don't impede your speed. Exactly. That's exactly. my new word, impede your speed. Impede your speed. <laughs> <laughs> you like don't do that. it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So that's where I think we're at here with, with Done, Done, Done. Um, so for you, one more time, how people get a hold of you for the brokerage? Yeah, so um, for what? How they get a hold of you as a loan broker once you get a hold of you. They, yeah, so um, if you are interested in connecting with me, my information is on our website, gsfahome.org. You yep. can also reach out to my team. 855-740-8422 and um, yeah we look forward to chatting it up with you again I want to encourage you all all of you lenders and realtors yep. who are watching to sign up for one of the trainings so you can get the inside scoop on the program so my last thing I'm going to try to trip up I'm going to try to trip up but she's, she's good so you have some event coming up pretty soon I've seen you advertise some kind of event coming up like you're going to have um, speakers coming on or something like you know some event I saw it come across one of, you, one of the emails we got. Do you remember? Yeah, so the Empower event. There you go. That one. Hey. We're having, we're hosting it at our offices in G, at GSFA. And it's going to be an all day event that offers like insights and, and a lot of uh, conversation around ways to innovate in this industry yeah. and to give you tips and tricks on how to leverage down payment assistance and other home, oppor home ownership opportunities for your clients. So there's going to be various speakers there cool. that present their ideas and um, insights into the industry and just kind of give you some more tools for your kid. So, so they're going to they're gonna come that thing. You going to feed them lunch? Yes, there's hey, going to be lunch. <laughs> there will be food. It's only $10. And that's going to buy you the whole day yep. and a wealth of information and opportunity to broaden and expand your, your business opportunities. That's cool. Do you remember what day that's going to be again? Sorry. That's July 25th. July 25th. There we go. See? Man, I got to sign up right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. We'll see you again later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Megan. <laughs>